Hi, morning to you laddies. My name is Assassin and welcome back to some more dredge. Uh, yeah, let's undock. And I think where we're gonna go now, um, I kind of want to go to this area, uh, Stellar Basin. There's still so much we haven't explored and <laughs> not gonna lie, it took me a while to actually remember or realize that we actually have a map. I literally just realized that by the end of last episode. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but sh uh, shut up, okay? How am I supposed to know there was a map? I'm scared. And I'm alone. And I'm afraid of anything that tries to hurt me. I'll take that. Oh. Okay, now this, I think, is a desert. This really has that deserty feel to it. You know? Or maybe this was a lost civilization that's, that's now covered by sand and... It's actually, this game is all about humanity and how its downfall started. <laughs> okay. That there... Maybe... Maybe I should, you know, clean my inventory. Organize, you know. Maybe I shouldn't have that much shit. So what if I, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory? I'm not a hoarder. These are all essential items I need. Is all. Um. Uh, I mean, yeah, we should have to get one more. Okay. Nothing can hurt you in the daytime. If I learn any anything from horror movies, it's that when the sun's oh wait hold on generator laboratory, an old generator sputters and ticks over. Oh, cool. Laboratory is in ruins with equipment and research papers shown about device. Where do you want to look? Open cupboards. You check, you get. Okay, inspect the table. There are some strange looking prototype parts on the table, but you can't see any use for them right now. On the other side of the table, you find a hazily scrawled note. It reads, not safe. Expect uh, retaliation. Imminent evacuating for it. Oh, okay. You look on the board, there are cracks in the base of the structure that grow follow along the wall. When you continue large and powerful created these holes, you slowly reach your hand into one. Yeah, that seems safe. Yeah, that seems perfectly safe. I wonder if my fucking character is probably gonna die. <laughs> There's a word that gave us an end in impressive potential capacity. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one. I want the big net. I want the large net. Why is this going so fast? Jesus. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was able to get it. <laughs> My inventory is a mess. That's a kraken, isn't it? Usually when there's a giant hole in the ground and a giant empty space, it's not usually a good sign. It usually means something's living here and I shouldn't fuck with shit. There's something down there. I already, I can feel it. Oh, is this the fourth they were talking about? Let's speed it up, silly. We got places to be. And death to find. Ooh, blood snapper. Ooh. Sounds bloody. <laughs> okay, anyone home? That's a turret gun. Right right there. Uh oh, um, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors. Who are you? Uh I'm a fisherman. Ah uh, yes, I thought you had to oh uh, what's that supposed to mean, huh? But a fisherman all the way out here? Strange. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you all the same. I've got not seen- wait, I've not seen another soul in months. In fact, I could do with your help if you had the time. What do you need help with? I need help 
uh, collecting samples to study. I was originally posted at the research outpost on the interior of the basin, but it was attacked. A large creature emerged from the depths and destroyed the outpost. Now it rests in the center of the bay. Oh, that's that's where it was. That's okay. I fled here and have been making do or making do as best I can, but I had to leave most of my equipment behind. So now my research has, has come to a halt. Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect them. That's that's it. Oh. Oh, is there anything? Okay, I don't have any of those. Wait. I wanna talk. <laughs> Thank you, Israel. Now that you mention it, I've been so preoccupied with the attack and having to rebuild here, I'd almost forgot. I found these letters from my sister. She sent them to me while I was studying before, before she researched her choir for a moment and stares off to the side. I swear she was attacked by that giant fucking squid. Thanks, dick. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. Anyway, I kept finding them amongst my papers. I don't remember packing them, but I must have. I started finding them more frequently. They turned up my collection nests and my sampling tubes. They were letters I'd never seen before, but they were in her writing. They were in her name. They were saying things, talking about things that happened after she died. I can't explain it. Is there anything else? Sir, a creature attacked you. Well, I got the sense that it was attacking the research outpost itself rather than me specifically. I suspect it was disturbed by some of my monitoring equipment. There were dozens of machines running there, all powered by a noisy generator. It was it was huge, larger than any marine species I've studied. It attacked with tentacles, so I guess at some sort of octopus or squid or anemia. One of my research vessels were marooned around the back of the station, so I managed to slip away and while I was tearing apart the front. There was a lot of valuable data and equipment left left there, but I'm not going back. I can't. I won't face it again. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, okay, I don't think there's much to say. I studied biological science at Iron Haven College. It was a struggle. There were no other female students in the department that year or the year before or the year before that. It's hard no, not to feel like an outsider in an environment like that, you know? Probably don't. When I graduated, I managed to land a job at the Northern Biological Research Society. And then, well, I was posted here by myself. I thought I would r relish the peace and quiet, but I miss having company. I've always had someone or at least a pet out here. It's just machines. <clears throat> Listen, man, that's just the life of an introvert. Okay. Nice talking to you. Never mind. I'm coming back. I'm sleeping. Like, you know, maybe if it like popped its head out for a little bit. This is a tiny bit. For like a split second. We can see like how big it is. Also, I've yet to run into like a thing or a person that's trade my stuff. No way those are just vines, right? Are they vines or tentacles? I think that's the whole ass monster. I thought it was like just seaweed or something, but I, I think it's a literally a whole ass thing. That's crazy. I feel like I was here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in a circle. <laughs> oh wait, no, never mind, we're good. Okay, it's just that, um, shipyard. Troll, troll net fraying? Crabs cutting themselves out of you? Okay. Right. Um, hmm, what did I, I think it was a floating deck? I don't have any wood. Don't have any wood. So, oh wow, it only has four hours left. Okay. Sail. Nice. 
$200. Oh, what you got in here? Ooh. Oh my god. I don't have storage for stuff. How am I gonna sell things if I can't sell them? God! Do I have to keep running back and forth to the guy that's all the way in Little Marrow just to sell some things? Uh, a giant whale. I love how I'm seeing all these like new things after I, you know, come back from certain areas. It's like, oh yeah, that well I never seen before. Oh yeah, it's just here now. All right, I know you sell things. Uh, this the balloon, and then the sapphire. And goblet. I think that's all. I have a lot of money now. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, real quickly, uh, I'm gonna take a break from upgrading my nets because that's, let's face it, all I've been doing. Um, and actually upgrade my fishing rod because that's the whole point of the game is to fish. I haven't really been doing that. I've just been like, I, oh, also, yeah, I repaired my net. <laughs> uh, I just been like, yo, it was what my net do all the way. Just got it. Uh, 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 what the fuck? What the f Get away! Get away! That was scary. Oh. Oh, there's a whole, whole place here. Civilization at last? Oh my god. Ooh. I got a red snapper. Didn't did she need one of these? I to be honest, I completely forgot what she needed. Ah, it's a doggy. There's a skinny brown dog leaping uh, around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. This technique is in effect. You jump off the boat into the high water. The dog stops catching fish and focuses on you. Uh, just throw some fish towards the dog. You throw some scraps to the water near the dog. It pounces as it splash and swallows seawater. Uh, only approach it. You wade towards the shore as you get near the dog. Backs up a little ways and sit. Uh, throw some fish. And the sand the dog is a long way a mouthful of sand. Lonely road. You start to walk closer to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides when it emerges again. Uh, call dog? You make a soft encouraging noise and the dog casually approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Uh, Hold out some fish in your hand. You hold out some fish and just grab some from your hand to the dog but soon again licking at them. Pat the dog. You reach and gently pat the dog as eyes follow your hand and you seem to understand you're not a threat. Let's go! Mission accomplished! <laughs> just keep patting the dog. Just keep patting the dog. Just keep, just, just, just keep doing it. You make your way back to the boat. As you're wa waiting away, you hear the slushing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few feet behind you. It tilts its head and questioningly. Oh. Oh, this is the biggest decision of my life. But if I flood it, follow me. Is it gonna get hurt? I don't want the dog to get hurt. I'm gonna let him. He better not die. You continue this time with the, with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into into a frog behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn. Oh, you put the dog on board. Oh, you can bring the dog with him. Oh, we can bring. It. Oh, 
You lift the dog into the deck and walks around briefly before curling up into a ball, looking at you. Maybe you could find this dog a permanent home. Oh, I can bring it home somewhere. W people here? Are there any civilization here? Does anyone live here? Oh, I have a dog with me. Is he on the boat? Can I see him? Oh, we had a dog. Oh, this is awesome. But yeah, I just realized that maybe we can uh, take him to the fort. Because remember, she was like, uh, what's my call? I get lonely here, no one with friends. Right, we can like bring her a dog and she'll have a best friend. And then they'll be happy. <laughs> I don't know. I found you a friend. Best friend forever. Uh, would you like dog? This dog needs a home. Do you want it? A dog? Oh gosh, let me see. The dog bounds over the researcher. She crouches down to pet it, grinning. The dog licks her chin and responds, I could definitely take this this one off your hands and I'd love the company. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm keeping it sure. Dog removed from your inventory. Yes, thank you. Oh, we're, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly the dog stands upright and begins to wrench its stomach, heaving. Seconds later, it vomits a wet glob under the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Ew. Oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want. I, I'll take it, but why? I, I can clean the rest up, don't worry. Dog vomit all over my hand now. <laughs> um. Uh, re all right, right. I need to give you the fish. Take a look at the specimen. I need you to. Okay. Uh. I guess this isn't. Huh? Oh, my have something. I got the squid, but, uh, I need to hurry and get inside. <laughs> it's scary you in this daytime. Ooh, but there's cool looking fish, though. This is how I die, though. Uh. Discard. Can I have you? How are you? Oh. That scared me. <laughs> um. Okay, I need to hurry up here. Uh, there's a rest. But yeah, it said something slithered on your cargo. And now I have something on my cargo. Uh, real quickly, I need to that. And oh. It's infected. Do you think she'll still want it? <laughs> Yeah, I have enough. Mm, okay. Do you take this? Oh, you still take it. Okay, that's good. Uh, you don't take any of these though. That's bad. Sorry, I gotta get rid of you quickly. Got it. Okay, I should probably also get rid of that as well. Oh, I think I found the other piece to the thing. I keep wrong buttoning. <laughs> wrong button? So like, how do I... Oh wait! I ha- Oh! I have an Aurora jellyfish in my, my thing. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. Making my way to the fort. Gonna play Fortnite with my new friend. Da 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 da. We're gonna play some Fortnite night night night. <laughs> and now I'm panicking. Don't crash. It's the last thing I need right now. Hi. 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 
Here you go. Thank you. Looks like you looks like you've got all the sur surface specimen I need. But uh, yes, I do. Uh, I, I do also need some from deeper down, but that's going to be a problem. Why is that, bro? I'm developing a new device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. This was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully, I suggest you go during the day. I wouldn't want you to be out of the reef at night. Okay. Laboratory. Uh... Where did she want me to look? Oh. Mm. Okay. Anything else while I'm here? No? Okay. Hello. Excellent. Let me assemble a device for you. This should allow you to catch specimen from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Uh... Mmm, I can't do anything with it. <laughs> Why am I supposed to do? Uh, oh. Nope, never mind. <laughs> I thought I could. Can I just put you in storage for now? There we go. I've developed a new repulsion machine, <laughs> repulsion machine that uh, produces bright light and emits a high-pitched noise that should deter the creature from attacking or enrage it. I'm not sure. <laughs> Connected to the research outpost generator, you'll have to return and re-engage every few hours. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Great. Now take a look at the list of specimens. Remember... Uh, remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before turning collectors. You also need to improve the equipment I gave you. Uh, that's a lot of things you're making me improve, but okay. Sure, lady. Sure. Oh, so that's added now. Okay, I actually want well, here to spin this point. I still need two more. Okay, trader. Let's, um, sell these. I think I just sold everything by accident. Hopefully, you need some of that. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna go to uh, the what's gonna call it place. God, it's so much slower when your engine is broken. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna go here real quickly because um, I think I should be able to. Um, what's what's it called i i should be able to buy the one of the parts to then upgrade and get a fishing rod okay first i'm gonna sell all my wait fish to you that's money buy money um and then buy that Okay, and then I'm gonna pull it at that on that, and now I just need one more, I think. And then I knew I still need one more, and then I need some cloth, and it's just a lot of money. Yeah, there it is. Yay, we found it. Can I actually grab some fish in my net while I'm here? Or no, uh, no, doesn't look like it. Okay. Hopefully this works now. Here's a repository that could be connected to... Oh, yeah. Okay, a small... Ooh! Ow! Wow. I don't know why I said it like that. I don't actually have to spend money! <laughs> a small object rolls out from... Okay. The repulsion machine hums and whirs. What? The life. A few seconds later, a bright light shoots from the top, and an alarm begins. We just said this should be keep the creature at bay for a time at least. Should I turn it off? Was that a bad idea? I don't know, but I can get that now. 
Yes, it saved me so much money. Oh my god, that's actually so scary. I knew it was something... Where the ha I swear I get lost around this place so many times. Okay, so I actually sold my... Yes! I sold my flexible fishing rod. But... I should... Be able now... Uh... What was it? Yeah, to get the versatile fishing rod. Oh. <laughs> That's a problem. Alright, uh... I'm back here, cause... Uh, first let me get that. And, and, uh, also, um... I think I have to go... I, I was looking it up, cause I don't know how to get refined metal. So I think I need to... Uh, what's my call? Go here. And explode this. Okay, loose debris, use explosion. Boom. Hell yeah. I think this should be refined metal. Is this? Oh yeah, I think it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Awesome. Okay. But yeah, we need refined... Okay, silver trinket isn't that bad. Uh, I lost a silver trinket, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> um, it's not that bad. I thought m one of the engines might have been broken. That would be bad. Uh, okay, so yeah, I need this refined metal for this. Fine, going that way. <laughs> Fine, be an asshole. And now I just need cloth. And five hundred dollars. <laughs> oh wait, is this? Oh, it's it's cloth. Oh, I need this. I need it. Give me, give the cloth here. Yeah. Oh, and more. Hell yeah, this is definitely enough. If I could get it, that is. God damn it. God damn it. Man. <laughs> Why do I fuck up the most simplest thing? I don't know. Yes! <laughs> yes! Any other things around here that I should be picking up? Uh... Not now. I know I'm gonna need it later, but for now I, I don't need it. So, uh, I ended up dying. <laughs> but it looks like the stuff respawns, so... That's helpful. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm sad that I died though. It was, it was sad because like I was so close near the port and, and then I just died. <laughs> and then I just died. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna grab this stuff. And I think head back to that place. You, you guys know the place. Where is I chest? Ooh, the bloom! And a piece of the map. Is this the full thing? Uh... We're about to find out, maybe. Okay, um... <laughs> well... This map isn't looking so good yet. So looking at this map, I think it should be around this area. If I am not mistaken. Now where it would be at uh, that, I don't know. So <laughs> I guess we just keep going until we see it and hope we don't die. Uh, listen, it's not the best plan, but it's the only plan we got. Um, the more and more this game just has me not wanting to go into the ocean. Like, I just want my treasure. Oh wait, I think I found it. 
Lying just beneath the surface of the water is a floating chest held down the chain. Open it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, goodbye, map. <laughs> uh, you served your purpose. Alright, now you gotta go. Doubloom! Oh my god, hell yeah. Um, gonna have to get rid of that. Yes, yeah, so many, so many goods. So many goods that I don't even have storage for them. Okay, yeah, that works. Awesome, great, that's good. Now I'm gonna make my way back to Little Marrow so I can actually sell this stuff. Oh yeah, I spent a thing on the engine now, by the way, so now we can get a faster engine. When we have the funds. Okay, hi, I'd like to sell you some things. This... A huge bag overflowing with gold to blow with... Yeah, sell that. Yeah, sell that. And then we can sell this and then that. Oh, I'm so. Oh, wait. I, oh, no. I can't because the fish guy isn't here. <laughs> Damn it. I was so. <gasps> no, never mind. I was going to say, can I sell like a fishing rod or something? Oh, why? Okay, fish market. Uh, oh, fish. Shipyard. Nope. Floating. Purchase upgrade. Wait. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> What a upgrade! <laughs> Just let me upgrade! Okay, this better be fu Thank you. Now, let me upgrade the feckin' hole! Jesus. <laughs> Just wanted to upgrade. Ah, uh, that there. That there. Uh, I need to I can actually move you to storage. So I need one lumber and one claw. Are you sure I can't just put it on? It should be enough. Yeah, more space. Imagine I did all that and I still can't do it. No, wait. Storage. God damn it. Uninstall. <laughs> Uninstall. Uh. Yes! Why can't I install it? Oh. Yes! Finally! God! That took ages! <laughs> mm hmm. I install this. And. Okay, I can put that on. Okay, we have those two things on. Let's go! Finally. Oops, wrong button. After all that time, I finally got a good fishing rod. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so nice. Ooh, here we go. The, the abyssal fish. Awesome. This is what she needed, right? Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I don't think you could. I'm sorry, you can't fit there. <laughs> you can't fit in my inventory. 
So, uh, how, how much did the... Uh, I mean, assuming it's up this hole. It must sell for a lot, at least. Hopefully. I don't even know what a pistol is. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. Whoa! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, it's money time now. Uh, I got your fish. So I haven't found the other one, so. Uh, well, fine. I'll, I'll just take a nap real quick. Okay. You going in your hole now? Little baby hole? Little baby? Okay, so how do I know which fish I need? I'm confused. The law is in, I'm scared. How do I get the fish? Oh, I think I need this thing. Release operator reasonable speed. Yeah, I think I need that. Damn it. Fish. And then I need to sell that, that, and that. And I hope you don't mind, but I kind of... No, not that. I kind of need one of these. Uh, so thank you. I'm gonna take that and... That. Okay, so I think I need... To get the bottom of the line now. I think it's something I need to get. Sampling line. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, that is a lot. Okay, that's enough. Now, bottomless. Wait. Okay, I thought I did something to fuck up. <laughs> I thought I fucked up something. I stop. Uh, and then bottom line. Man, I still take up two. Okay. I got the bottom line. For me. That's right. Okay. So now can I do it? Or did I just waste all my time? Cause if I can't do it now, I'm sorry, but I'm confused. I don't exactly know what you want me to do. Okay? I've been spending like hours trying to get certain things and then you're just like, yeah, you can't, you, why? You, know, I, uh, you just can't. I swear it, no, no, stop it. If you, do not let me do the thing that I want to do. Just stop and let me do it. Yes, I can finally do it. Okay, so I did need that thing. Nice. I mean, we're here. We might as well just get this. I, I know she needs it, but like, we need money. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? Money. You think I want to help you, lady? I mean, I do, but like, money. Why else do you think I became a fisherman? That does mean, though, that I have to watch my time. Because Big Boy is assumingly, eventually going to be all mad boy. And we don't like an angry boy. I just went through like five things at once. Angry boy, mad boy, sad boy. Okay. Oh, I found someone's uh, engagement ring. God damn it. 
Don't worry, I'll sell it. Screw returning it to the person. I need money. Okay, I don't think... When did I select my horn? Uh, I think that's all I can do now. <clears throat> Sadly, I know. I wanted to get more money as I mean, help the lady out as well. Haha, <laughs> I took all your fish. Idiot. Not really. But I need, I need to tell him that I took his fish so he can start panicking. Um. Ah, I'm missing one. I'm missing the giant one. You know, the jaw face one. Okay. Baby time. Alright, time for you to go night night. And time for me to go with jewelry hunting. Daddy needs a new necklace. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is kind of fucked up to say to the, to the fish. I need the chomper fish done. Where's the where's the chomper fish? Are you the chomper? No. Are you the chomper fish? Oh, that's it. Oh wow. Oh, it's a relic. Oh, and I take the relic to the guy and he gets an upgrade for me. Cool. None of you guys are chomper fish! Eh, so much jewelry, I'll take it. They don't need it. Oh my god. Are you, let's see, this is... This is why you don't steal. You'll fail tremendously! Oh my fuck- Oh. Oh my god. At this point, I wouldn't even blame him if he killed me. It's embarrassing, really. Oh god! Uh... Uh... I think I'm dead. Uh, hi. <laughs> I, I, oh God. Oh, he's angry. Oh, I'm sorry. This is your home. I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was a... Uh, kind of pissed off the thing without meaning to piss off the thing. But hey, I need my engine still work. Let's get the fuck out of here. Woo wee! <laughs> Can I repair? Please don't tell me all my stuff is actually fucked. I, I can repair, right? Uh, 120. I think I have it. It's all my money, but okay. Yay, all my money, fucking god. Oh, I'm never gonna sell. <gasps> oh, these are the fish. I found the fish, lady. <laughs> it, like, not the fish, lady. You know what I mean. Oh, wait, no. I gotta go back. I just came from that area. <laughs> okay. Oh god, the game's freaking out. I got it. Here you go. I have good n news and bad news. Which do you want to hear? Bad news. The bad news is that, uh, that the samples you retrieve from the bat basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mut mutations. The good news is that I... have Honed in on what's causing the um, normal yeah, normality is an ecosystem. This all points to one thing: uh, that that thing is in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. Oh, you don't say! Damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. <clears throat> oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I've not got to say thank you with, um, you should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my study. I think it will be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I recommend you try and avoid the area. It doesn't seem safe to read it. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, lady. 
Thanks for the upgrades. Those are pretty handy. <laughs> They'll come in pretty handy. Okay, now to the guy that I was trying to go to for the upgrade. You walk in and place the jewel and cross the ring on a table by the collector. He, his eyes whiten. Well, certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction, but for us, it's valuable, our value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. Fast travel? <laughs> he selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the crimson bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly as though thrown, by, uh, thrown huge by a wave. He closes his book and turns his attention back to you. Manifest instantly. Ooh. Now, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. You should ask around town in the mirror so why is... Or something. Why can't you search for them yourself? Oh, the ocean no longer wishes to cooperate as the waves are unsafe for me. You will be my surrogate. Uh, what are you doing with these relics? Why, collecting them, of course. An investment for times to come. The words you read to me, what do they... The book holds power from... Oh, yeah, okay. She's... You creepy. <laughs> you scare me. So, how, oh, it's probably, mm. okay, so I, I don't, I don't want to do it because I don't want to go through a load screen, but it teleports me back. That's useful. Hi, I got some things for you. Yep. Yep. Ready, intact. It's conflict, Megan has ease up, but this could still be right dealing. Okay, there's all my money. <laughs> all my money. Also, I want to talk to this lady. See if she'll be like, You met with my old friend, I see. You have the powers. The lighthouse keeper is waiting, waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing to the, towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? That's a problem. It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocation. What? Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. The fog, it's behaving as though it's reacting to the lights that cut through it swirls and crashes against the edges from the top of the lighthouse i can see dark figures seething in the thickest tracks out beyond little merrill where the light dwindle of <clears throat> all that i've seen your lights seem to anger them the most oh good to know <laughs> that's good to know oh wait is this another oh I think this might be another thing. I got another relic! Oh, I was just going to the... To the twisted place. Twisted strand. Well, that's awesome. And he's right over here. Hey buddy, I did your job for you! You, you happy? Can I go home? But yeah, I was heading to the... The fuck is it called? Twish, twisted Strand? Something? And then I found that. And now I can turn it... Oh god. Don't crash. You enter the collector's house. He's, he's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? 
The collector growls agitated. It seems the pieces we're, we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He opens the crimson book, his spine crapping audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Fire, fire off a blazing, ooh. You hear a growling, cackling in your eyes. Suddenly, your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. You must keep searching. I've been thinking more and more where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strands channels. It's worth investigating. Mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Uh... That stuttering old fool, yes, I knew him. He joined us on the water sometimes, but was more hindrance than help. He never seemed entirely entirely with it. I can't imagine he has fared too well since I last saw him. Those turned into a dick. He ponders for a moment. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold to are simple objects, but they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would be awash with forgotten memories. They hold power to recall what was once lost. Okay, you're scary. I'm gonna rest now. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, it said blazing light, so can I... Tell him to fuck off now. <laughs> this vanishing words can dispel you for a time being. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay, you can, you can stop now. Okay. So is that like for the big creatures? Maybe I- Hey, it's light! <laughs> Fuck off! Oh. Huh. Hello? Oh, I didn't read that. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out. Who goes there? A fisherman. What do you want? We're just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No, I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Meryl, but I'm being stopped. A huge leviathan lurks deep in the waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water. Its gaping mouth just blew the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel hole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed land. I can deliver the package for you. Would you? Or you would? Well, that would work, I guess. Harry pushes a lumpy brown package through the door, door hole. It is scorched slightly as you take it in your hand. Dark fluids oozes from the co- Thank you, stranger. This is bound for dock worker at Little Merrill. Not sure what's inside, but listen. I know the sounds is crazy sometimes. I think I can hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now, I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. Don't have the equipment for it. Be careful with the thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Getting over-minded, buddy. <laughs> Again, an item emerges from the door hole. This time, a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Stay traveled. There's a leviathan in the water, you say? Great. Fun. Oh, yeah. A door, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package of very gently in his hands. With, he lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down to the dock without another word to you or com compensation. Well, cool, I guess. That was cool. All right. <laughs> no, that was, that was fine. So, like, was there a Leviathan and am I going to die? Where am I to find out? I'm probably gonna die. You know? This is how it be. Well, it's just a whale. 
It's just well. We're fine. We're okay. I'm looking for the Leviathan. Is there a Leviathan? <laughs> I'm scared. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, shelter. Or somewhat of a shelter. God, you can't see shit in this area. Hello? <laughs> Hello, friend or foe? Uh, weapons on this boat, but friend or foe? Oh, is that a plane crashed over there? Oh. Hey again, come by for a chat. You really know how to get around, don't you? I guess you are a traveling merchant. All right, well, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. I've been recording for a very long time. <laughs> um, just like farming and trying to get things. So uh, I I'm going to end off the episode here. I feel like we made pretty, actually pretty good progress. Like we got uh, the, what's what was the thing called? Um, for like the handle, what was it called? Uh, fish. The bottomless line. We also got this fishing rod. Um, I probably have some other things that I probably forgot. But yeah, I feel like we made pretty decent progress. So I'm I'm really proud uh, with what we did. And we're gonna be exploring the what was it something woods uh, next episode. So yeah, I, ho I hope you guys look forward to that. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button in the face like a pirate. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.